In this video, we're going to take a look at creating emissive surfaces using geometry to light a scene in Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the Limo 01 C4D scene. And this scene already has some emissive surfaces in it. We have parts of the robot here that are emitting light. If I zoom out a little bit, we also have these very festive looking running lights. And this is just these are just geometry spheres with an emissive surface applied to them. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So let's take a look at our robot friend here, see if we can add even more lighting to his surface. So let's go into the outline here and have the barbot group expanded. And I want to find the uh, part called torso ring, let's see. Torso ring five. Let's first create a material, of course. We're gonna create a new octane material. I'm going to materials, octane node editor, and I'm gonna create a new octane material. And we'll just call this, rename this, we'll call it a robot light. And I'm gonna to go to the basic section and make sure that the material type is set to diffuse. Then I'll go into the diffuse settings. We can set this all the way down to zero, making it black. It doesn't really matter because all we really care about is emissive surfaces. Let's actually select our Tosho ring and I'm going to apply this. Apply to this object, let's do four as well. And six. and one while we're at it. So now you can see that they're all appearing as black. So if we go to the emissions section, I'm going to, we have a couple choices here, just like we do with lights. We have black body emission and texture emission, and these work pretty much the same way they do for octane lights. So let's click on black body emission. When I do that, not only do we get a very festive nuclear blast, we can see that there's a black body emission node now connected to the emission input of our surface. So let's do a couple things. First of all, let's turn on surface brightness so that the brightness of the surface is proportional to its size. And then we can pull down the power. Maybe make it something that's not quite so bright. And since this is a black body surface, we can use the temperature setting to control the color. So if we want to have a nice blue or a warm color. Just like when working with lights, we can also turn on the things like normalization. We turn this off and then we bring the temperature down. It's going to get very dim because we have less energy coming through. The warmer colors are less energy. So we don't want that. Let's turn normalize back on. Surface brightness. Of course, we also have the power. And if we wanted to, we could add a texture. So just for fun, let's add a C4D marble texture. And you can see it's creating a pattern on the surface here. Select that marble node and, you know, play with things like Omega, the variance, octaves, power, and so on. And of course, you could also use an image texture, and you could like animate this, the offset here to create like a cool psychedelic pattern throughout the scene. But other than that, for the most part, the settings uh, for the emission are very similar to what you see in octane lights. So if we take a look at the movies on Octane Lights, we go through all the settings here uh, and how they work. 